Many Spring Bay residents say they have never seen water seep into the places it's been this past week. I've been here 23 years and never seen it close to this. Never. While water has gone down, many areas are still covered. Lake Street still looks more like a lake than a street. Carol Cook is usually able to put a levee up, not this time. All we had a chance to do is just move stuff out. And it just come up so fast. I mean, once we got things moved, no time for no levees. <laughs> the water flowed into his yard and into his garage. However, his home stayed dry. It missed our house, thank goodness. <laughs> How it done it, I have no clue. His next door neighbors, not so lucky. The hydraulic pressure just pushed the water into the basement and tried to keep it pumped out, but the pump wouldn't keep up with it. It was just coming in too fast. We had it up to the wood steps. Two steps from getting into the living quarters. That's about six feet of water. The first step to clean up, getting it out. It could have been a lot worse. That's the mindset for these neighbors. Along with the help from the Red Cross, they've been going back and forth from house to house, offering assistance to one another. Get it up on my shoulder and I can take it all the way over there. They say it's what Spring Bay residents do in times like this. That's the way it is. We just help each other out on this stuff. Cook says his cleanup is short. He's thankful for that. As far as being fortunate, upstairs, good Lord. Take care of us. <clears throat> In Spring Bay, Angie Barra, WMBD 31 News.